so hi, my name is Diana Mastracci, and I'm excited to present to you today Geohack 19, which is a hackathon that I'm working with together with Steven and Paola Di Salvo from Geo, as well as John from uh, Geoscience Australia. And uh, so what are hackathons? Um, hackathons are uh, spring type of competitions in which anyone from amateurs to computer geeks can get together and thank you, yeah. Um, um, can get together and create solutions for given challenges. So for Geohack 19, the data challenges will be co-created by different indigenous communities throughout the world. And um, so it's part of Geo Week 2019, but it will take place the weekend before to ensure more people will be allowed to um, attend the event. So November 2 to 4. And it's being sponsored by uh, Geoscience Australia. So uh, why indigenous communities? Uh, according to the UN, uh, there are an estimated uh, 300 and... Uh, uh, 50 million indigenous people living around the world. Um, they're spread around 90 countries and they cover over 80% of the world's biodiversity. And uh, so whilst they constitute a numerical minority, they account for uh, most of the world's cultural diversity. Um, representing over 5,000 different indigenous cultures and speaking 96% uh, of the world's estimated 7,000 languages. Um, so indigenous people over centuries have developed an intimate dynamic knowledge of their land that is traditionally transferred from elders to their younger generation um, through stories and um, legends and uh, so it's expressed orally and um, it's expressed during real concrete real life situations. And one of the challenges that uh, indigenous communities are facing is this transfer of knowledge from their elders to the younger generation. And um, this is because um, young indigenous people lack real opportunities to, uh, to spend time with their elders during all their subsistence activities because they have to attend school. For example, in the Arctic, um, young indigenous communities um, whilst they are in school during the fall, they miss the observation of the surefest ice that happens uh, during the fall. Um, so how can we harness the wisdom of the crowd and use free and open access data to broaden the participation of indigenous communities and support local responses to global challenges? If we want to ensure that we leave no one behind, we need inclusive and innovative participatory methods that put the users at the heart of the research process. And that's why we have turned to the collective intelligence of the crowd to understand how we can use uh, free and open access data uh, to broaden the participation of indigenous communities and support local responses to societal challenges. And based on fieldwork conducted among indigenous communities in the, um, in the Arctic and previous hackathons, we have observed that uh, Earth observation data, as well as ICTs, can have a meaningful impact for young indigenous people if it increases elder youth interaction, as this is how uh, the transfer of knowledge is conducted, is transferred over. Uh, in increases cross-cultural communication because they want their uh, young students to have a foot in both the traditional and scientific world. Uh, and as well as maintain and strengthen local culture. Um, so based on these needs and recommendations from indigenous leaders, uh, we have launched uh, GEOS Hack, which is a hackathon that will give voice to the data needs of indigenous communities, promote the use of free and open data, and help us to understand the barriers to the access of EO data among indigenous communities. Uh, so how will it work? Um, during the months of October, uh, there will be a series of indigenous pre-hackathons in various indigenous communities. Uh, indigenous youth will uh, work together with their er elders or cultural leaders uh, to identify local challenges that can be addressed using EO data 
including satellite imagery, remote sensing, and in situ data. And combining traditional knowledge with science across cultural and generational lines. Um, the community will then select a, um, a winning idea that will become part of the main challenge in November. And so during the main event in, um, in November, hackers will spend uh, two days developing their open source solutions towards one of the challenges presented by the indigenous communities. And the hack team will then present their solutions to the EO community during Geo Week. And to ensure the solutions are culturally relevant, um, the elders of the indigenous communities will be part of the judging panel. And throughout the challenge, the, uh, the hackers will be mentored by um, volunteers. So far, we have uh, mentors from NASA, ESA, Geoscience Australia, the University of Oxford, the University of Michigan, and we hope to have many more as well. And these are the indigenous communities that we're hoping to work with. It's not finalized yet. Uh, it's a work in progress at the moment. And, but uh, we need your help. Uh, so if you want to join a culture of collaboration, creativity, and innovation, then please do get in touch. Uh, we are looking for men mentors in the field of GIS, remote sensing, and climate change adaptation, and mobile uh, app design. And um, we're also looking for sponsors, as uh, we want to fund indigenous leaders to travel to the summit. And if you love participating in hackathons or if you have never participated in one and you are dying to, then please uh, do consider participating in GeoHack. <laughs> and last but not least, if you are at uh, GeoWeek, please consider attending the side event on EO on the world's indigenous people. It will take place on Tuesday the 5th of November. And the aim of the event is to open a dialogue with the Geo community to help achieve enhanced technical capacities of indigenous communities via the GEO umbrella. And we anticipate that the GEO community will benefit from the insight and knowledge of the First Na Nations and indigenous peoples and gain valuable perspective on how we might uh, collectively achieve our sustainable development goals. And so that, that's all for me. I don't know if you have any questions. Thank you, okay. Diana. Thank you. So I'd, I'd just add that um, we've been approached by some additional countries in Africa that want to get engaged as well. So it's becoming quite a, a global um, community that want to participate in this. Um, do, uh, Diana, where'd you go? <laughs> do, is, is there a place for people to sign up or is it just a case of emailing you? Uh, at the moment, if you would like to participate, then please uh, just drop me an email. Okay, thank you.